Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a skincare collection. I want to say right away, you might be hearing it right now, there is a tapping sound that is going to come up in the background every now and then because of a fan that's in my bathroom and that is where I'm at right now in my bathroom and it makes like a weird tapping sound so I apologize for that. Not really too much I can do about it right now so I just want to go through and talk to you guys about all of the products in my skincare cupboard. I know I have quite a few products but keep in mind these are just different things that I've tried out. Some of these products were sent to me by brands and I really love skincare. But anyways to keep this video from getting too long we're just going to go ahead and get started. If you are new here I would love for you to subscribe down below if you have not already and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can also come give me a follow over on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter as well if you would like they are linked in my description box We're just gonna go ahead and talk about all of the skincare products that I have in here So I think I am going to turn on This light. Um, I know it's like such bad lighting and it's so yellow But I feel like you guys can see better back here if I have this light on versus if I don't um, Because my ring light is kind of far away. So I am just gonna reach in here starting at the top shelf and moving down to the bottom right up here i have a skincare device or tool this is the foreo luna 2 i believe yes this is the luna 2 and they actually sent this to me um to try out and i have really been liking this i actually did film a review on this like a while ago and I never posted it. It was right over the time that my laptop broke and I wasn't super happy with how the video turned out. But if you guys do want to see that video, let me know in the comments down below and I'm sure that I could edit it and upload it for you guys. I just didn't know if it's something that you guys would even really be interested in. But I do have a review filmed on this and I have to say I have really been liking it. Even though I haven't tried like the Clarisonic or other face brushes, I just think that this is more up my alley. I just prefer a silicone device like this more and I love how gentle it is on the skin. It's very, very mild. It's not like exfoliating or anything. It's just like a mild kind of scrub. I don't really know how to describe it, but it just really gets in there and cleans your pores without exfoliating or scrubbing too harsh, if that makes sense. So moving on from that, on the top shelf right next to that, I have my rose hip seed oil. This is also a product that I did a whole video on where I talked about whether or not this works for my acne scars. And I will leave that video up in a card so you guys can check it out if you are interested in rosehip oil. But I have to warn you guys, this stuff has a very strong scent. It's like an earthy kind of almost fishy scent, which is really odd, but I've looked it up and that's apparently just what rose hip seed oil smells like. It's not like rose essential oil, so it doesn't smell like roses, but it's very beneficial for the skin. For me personally, I will say this works a lot better when I use it every once in a while as opposed to every day or every other day. I just use this like once a week maybe and I do feel like it's beneficial for me in that way but everybody's skin is different. I feel like I'm already talking about the products for too long so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about these as like a set. This is the Fresh Rose line, like the deep hydration line. So we have the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner, we have the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream, and then the Rose Face Mask. All of these were sent to me in a set, that's why I have all of them, and I have to say, I really have been enjoying them. Um, this face cream is really beautiful. It's a very luxurious, thick moisturizer without being like greasy or anything like that, but I don't know that I would actually purchase this with my own money, just because it is so pricey, and there's so many moisturizers out there that you can get that are just so much more affordable. I believe that this size retails for $40, which is pretty crazy, but I do really like it, so it's very hard to say. It just feels like a lot for a moisturizer. The Rose Face Mask, I really enjoyed as well. This is very hydrating and soothing on the skin. This is something that's more worth it because it is a mask, and it is gonna have a lot of benefits for your skin. It has real rose petals in here, so that's great. Again, you guys, I apologize for the tapping noise. I know it's really annoying. Um, but the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner, I feel like is my favorite product out of these three because it just does such an amazing job of removing any excess dirt. And I feel like it's really a product that does make a difference in my skin. This has lasted me forever. I'm not even halfway through the bottle yet and I've had this 
for such a long time. So I love that, that it's lasting me a long time. Let's talk about an Australian pink clay mask, which I actually have two of these from two different companies. I have one by the brand Sand and Sky and one by the brand Alia Skin, and these were both sent to me. And I did really like both of them, but they are different. I feel like the Sand and Sky one really dries a lot faster and goes on a little bit thinner. And it also has a stronger rose scent. The Alia Skin one I feel like is a little bit more comfortable because it doesn't dry so quickly. This one I feel like dries literally as you're applying it almost. And the Alia Skin one takes a little bit longer. It's a little more comfortable. The scent isn't quite as strong. So I feel like I might prefer the Alia Skin one a little bit more. And I think it might also be more affordable. So we've got to move through this a little quicker. I get so stuck on products. So we've got the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% healing solution this is a 10 minute exfoliating facial this is from the brand the ordinary and it is very very affordable i've heard people say that this is a dupe for the drunk elephant sukari baby facial i haven't tried that but i do love this i literally only used it twice i just got it so keep in mind i haven't been using this for months but the times that i have used it i really really enjoyed it and i've noticed a difference in my skin immediately it's very smoothing it's really just a great, great option for exfoliating the skin without using a harsh physical exfoliator if you're not into that. Um, I try not to do physical exfoliators too much, so really enjoy that. Don't leave it on for more than 10 minutes though. Okay, I have some lip balms here, so I'm just gonna get through these really quick because they're not really like actual skincare. Um, I've got a little mini of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in apple lime. I've got the fresh sugar peach and lemon hydrating lip balms and these are both really great too but they're also pricey and if I was to purchase one of them it would probably be the Laneige one. Then we've got Shea Moisture and Eos. These are both great affordable options. I love the Eos because it's in a stick. It feels really nice and it's super easy to apply. Let's talk about my cleansers. So the first one that I have that I'm almost out of is the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. I really did enjoy this. I thought it was nice, but after a while of using it every single day, I got kind of tired of the sugar exfoliating beads in it. I know it's like so mild and it literally melts on the skin when you're applying and it's not a harsh exfoliant at all. But if I were to repurchase this, it would just be to use it a couple of times a week, not every single day because I do like a cream cleanser, which my newest one is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. And this is one that I have really been enjoying. It's like a creamy moisturizing cleanser that still gets like a nice creamy lather to it. And it's really beautiful, especially when you're taking your makeup off, which I'll talk about how I remove my makeup in a minute, but I do like to do a double cleanse. So the other cleanser that I've got here is one that I don't really use. I've had it in my collection for a long time and I bought it because I love the brand Nourish Organic. It's a really great natural skincare brand with a lot of awesome products. But this cleanser specifically for some reason, this is the Age Defense Cleanser, the Nourishing Gel Cream. For some reason, this cleanser just makes my skin feel almost like squeaky clean if that makes sense it kind of like skips when you rub your hand over your face and i just i am not a fan i also don't like how this burns my eyes so intensely like i have to have a cleanser that is going to be gentle on my eyes otherwise i can't use it because i really get in there with my cleanser like all over and in my eyes so that that makes it a no-go for me my sister really loves this one she has the same one and she says that it doesn't make her skin feel that way at all um but i don't know if she uses it to remove eye makeup or anything so i don't know if it burns her eyes but she said that it works great for her skin otherwise so keep in mind all of our skin is different i'm sorry you guys i'm sounding like really out of breath right now and i know i don't know what it is for some reason i feel like i'm trying to talk fast enough to get through this video and like i'm really out of breath <laughs> I do have two little mini cleansers here. These are both like travel size. I have the Purity Made Simple and the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser from Drunk Elephant. Um, this one is nice, but the full size is overpriced for what it is. I wouldn't recommend spending your money on it. Even though I like Drunk Elephant and I have tried skincare from them that is amazing, I just think that cleanser is a little overpriced for what it is. The Purity one I do really, really like. I've gone through 
so much of this stuff and I really, really love it. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a great, easy, simple cleanser. But I also really like the First Aid Beauty one that I just mentioned. So I feel like they're just both great cleansers. I just use this one for travel. Ooh, let's talk about a serum. I love, love, love this product. This is the Province Beauty Vitamin C Probiotic Serum and it says glow on the bottle. I have to say, I looked this up on their website and I believe they've repackaged it and now it's just the vitamin C serum. I don't know if it still has the probiotics in it. It still has the glow on the front and it says the vitamin C serum, so I'm assuming it's the same product, just repackaged. But I found this at Marshalls a while ago and I have really, really enjoyed it. I have gone through about this much. I've gone through like a fourth, I would say, of the bottle. I've really been enjoying this. It's very lightweight, kind of like a watery jelly consistency, and it's just so moisturizing and brightening, and it just feels really nice on the skin as well. Mario Badescu Facial Spray, not too much to say about this. I just purchased it because it's really affordable, and sometimes I like to have a refreshing mist on my face, but I don't really know that this is really that beneficial for your skin. I just like the feeling of it. And then I have a few more like clay-like masks or pore clearing masks. I have the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I am almost done with this. I think I'm like two thirds of the way through the bottle. I've really enjoyed this, but I don't know that it's like my favorite mask ever. It is nice and I do feel like it does its job, but there's just other great masks out there. And if you guys want, I can link some down below. Like if you're looking for a good pore clearing or clay mask, um, I'll try to link some down below of ones that I've tried. And then we have this matcha antioxidant face mask from the brand Plant. This one has matcha tea and chamomile. And this I actually picked up from Target and it just has kaolin white clay. Um, matcha leaf powder and chamomile flower oil so it's very natural it's a good product there's nothing wrong with this but I don't find myself reaching for it as much as my other masks it's probably my least used in my collection just because I feel like it's nothing like stand out amazing I don't know I felt like it kind of burned my skin a little bit even when I used it with water so I've got a moisturizer here. This is the Earth to Skin Tea Time Black Tea Night Cream Moisturizer. And I found this at Walmart. I thought it was a more like natural brand, so I really wanted to try it out. I used it a few times. And the first couple times that I used it, it broke me out, so I stopped using it. Then I started using it again, and it was fine for a couple of uses. And then it started breaking me out again, and I'm pretty sure it was this. So I did stop using it. And also, I felt like it was going to break me out because it smells like a dollar store hand lotion, like identical to a dollar store hand lotion. And I just can't get behind that scent. It really throws me off. So I'm really excited to talk about this. This is the, the Navi brand face and body moisturizer. And this is actually a brand that my friend just released, a really good friend of mine. So I am super excited to shout her out in this video. I purchased this pretty recently and I haven't used it that much but it has a nice earthy scent and it just is a beautiful like thick type of shea butter moisturizer that really melts down into like a creamy like oil consistency on the skin it's really beautiful and this does have shea butter in it but it also has hibiscus jojoba oil pomegranate seed oil and pumpkin seed oil and those are all great for the skin especially if you have blemish prone skin these have all worked great on my skin in the past when i've use the products with these oils in them. So I definitely have really been liking this. I love the way it makes my skin feel so deeply moisturized, but it's not like putting a literal oil on your skin. It just has like those benefits and it's really, really nice. I have really been liking this. I just think that the logo is so cute and it's so like earthy and totally her like style and vibe. So I will definitely leave her website linked down below as well as her Instagram if you wanna check out any of her stuff. She's seriously killing it right now and I am so proud of her. As you can see, I have also got one of these rose quartz roller things. And I'll be honest, I don't use this that much. I sometimes will use it if I'm feeling bougie and I just wanna like massage product into my skin. But for the most part, I just really love the way that this looks in my skincare cabinet. And I think this was actually a gift a while back so it's just kind of fun to use every now and then if you do get like tension in your face this would be something that you might actually use on a daily basis and it is great to like 
drain your lymph nodes, I think it is, but I just haven't really used it to its fullest potential. Okay, we're on the last shelf now and I just wanna talk about some of the products that I use quite a bit. I should have probably mentioned these closer to the beginning of the video, but they're on the bottom shelf. So this product is a staple in my skincare routine. This is the Fourth Ray Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. And I think I have mentioned this in a video recently. I feel like I brought it up in like an empties video when I was talking about a different cleansing oil or cleansing balm or something. I have switched over to using cleansing oils and I really, really love them. I feel like they're so much easier to use or less messy because you can just pump it into your hand instead of digging your hand into a pot, if you know what I mean. So I've really been enjoying this. This is sold on ColourPop and Fourth beauty.com and I think the main thing I love about it is the price and the fact that you get 4.15 fluid ounces for like $15 it's such a great price because this lasts forever and I love it for a double cleanse it really melts all the makeup off of your face and then for a daily moisturizer lately I have been loving the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus HA this is just a really great affordable Moisturizer, um, The Ordinary has really great skincare. I've heard nothing but positive things about them, to be honest. And I love the fact that this is like a thick, really like moisturizing moisturizer, but when you actually apply it and like bl blend it, I don't know, rub it into the skin or pat it in, whatever you're doing, this really, really just melts into the skin and it does not leave any kind of residue on the top of your skin but it still hydrates it, if that makes sense. It's crazy, I've never used a product that does that as well as this, where it feels like a thick, hydrating moisturizer, but then it just melts away into the skin and you don't have a greasy residue. It's just really, really great. The fact that you get, what size is this? 3.3 ounces for like 750, it's crazy. And then we have my Curology. This is something that I actually decided to try last spring i want to say when my skin was really acting up it was not doing great and that's also when i purchased these noxema pads which i never use and i should probably just get rid of them because they are really really intense and strong but i was willing to try anything for the breakouts that i was having it was just driving me insane and i tried everything i tried all of my go-to skincare products that usually work amazing for me and nothing was working these helped a little bit. They're just the Noxema anti-blemish pads, but they're so strong and so intense. And I feel like it's just too much for the skin and it's really harsh. So I decided to try out Curology and this really did clear up my skin. Honestly, um, I use this for about a month every other night because I didn't want to use it every single day and like have my skin get attached to it where it needs it. So I just used it every other night and it worked really great, cleared up my skin completely and I haven't had issues really since. When I do have breakouts, like hormonal breakouts, I will sometimes use this as like a spot treatment or I will just use it all over my face when I feel like it needs it every now and then. But I don't use it every night anymore just because I don't, I don't want to use something like this on my skin every day and I don't want my skin to be dependent on something like this. So I just use it for like breakouts specifically. I want to talk about the oils that I've got in here. I have a hydrating face serum with hyaluronic acid from the brand Skin Science. And this is really nice. I have really enjoyed this. I've gone through like probably over a third of the bottle now. And it does feel kind of like an oil on the skin, but it's not quite as thick. The only thing with this is I haven't noticed like a crazy, crazy difference in my skin. Like it does really that much. I just feel like it's a nice product and it feels great on the skin. So I do use it sometimes. I also have this pure argan oil from Shea Moisture. This is just plain old argan oil. And this is just great for really anything like the hair, the nails, cuticles. Um, I use it on my face. This is just a great like multi-purpose oil to have. The other one that I have is castor oil and this one I just mainly use for my lashes and brows at night sometimes. I'm not super consistent with it, but I do like to use this at night to help keep my lashes growing when I don't have eyelash extensions on because right now I do have eyelash extensions on, but in between sometimes when I give my eyes a break, I like to let my lashes grow back and so I will use some castor oil. All right, you guys, so we got the last two like skincare products in here. I have a few little things on the side, like a little eye cream sample and a little like soap sample from Lush, but so I've got tea tree oil, which I do keep in my skincare cabinet because I use this as skincare. This is just a really, really great spot treatment. I know people say that pure tea tree oil might not be great for the skin or it's too much, but 
I do use just a tiny little drop on a Q-tip at night before I go to bed as a spot treatment sometimes and I do feel like it really helps. So I don't know, I just feel like my skin does react well to tea tree. And then the last thing in here is a brightening facial scrub by the brand Acure. This is another natural skincare brand that I do really, really enjoy their products. And this is really nice if you like physical exfoliators, um, it does the job. It's one of my favorite physical exfoliators. But if you want something that's not harshly rubbing against your skin, going back to the ordinary peeling solution, this is something that's just a little bit different of a type of product if you like these kinds of exfoliators. Everybody's different, everybody has different preferences, um, and I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your skin. Wow, I am like so out of breath right now. I feel like I was trying to get through all those products really fast while still giving you guys the information on them. So this video is probably gonna be a million years long, and for that, I do apologize. But regardless, I hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you saw something that you might want to try out. I am going to try to leave everything that I can find linked down below in the description box so you guys can check anything out that you want. I've been trying to get better with linking my products because I know that you guys appreciate that and I don't just want to leave my description box empty. So I will try to link the products down below. Before I leave though, I do want to say one brand that I didn't mention in today's video because I just don't have their products right now because I've run out and I've talked about them before is Body and Burden. I've talked about this brand on my channel many times. It is a great natural skincare brand. They don't have a lot of products, but it's this woman on Instagram. Her IG name is Body Unburdened, and I I'm can't think of her actual name off the top of my head, but that is her Instagram. It's just Body Unburdened, and her website is also bodyunburdened.com, and she has these facial oils that are so amazing. They have literally helped so much with my skin in the past, and she also has like face masks that are really great. So I definitely recommend checking out Body Unburdened if you're looking for great natural skincare. Again, like I said, they don't have a ton of products, but it's just kind of like the Navi brand that I mentioned. They don't have a ton of products either, and it's just a newer brand that my friend started. Like I said, I'm so proud of her, so I am definitely gonna leave her website linked down below along with the other ones that I talked about. So I'm gonna stop rambling now. Again, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.